Hello and welcome to Datazar. Today I'm going to show you how to dress up your contact form on your Datazar website at connect.datazar.com. So let's go to datazar.com. We're going to click login and let's get our username and our password. Okay, so that's going to take us to dashboard on the main menu. Let's get rid of this. We're going to go full screen. And from dashboard, you want to click on website. This is where the editing tools are for working on your website for post pages and settings. Today, we're going to be working on pages because we're going to be updating our contact form on our contact page. Let's quickly tab over our AAA webinar AAA Outdoor Scenes website. This is one of the two websites we work with on the webinar. So every website comes with a contact form. It'll be on your bottom menu. And what we did was we went ahead and put it on our top and bottom menu. So we're going to go ahead and click on contact. And this is the contact form here. And we're going to dress this up a little bit. We're going to put a greeting. We're going to put a phone number, a clickable address. And uh, so let's go ahead and go back to connect. And again, we clicked on website. Now we're going to click on pages to edit our contact page. You'll find your contact page probably on your bottom menu. We moved it to the top. It doesn't matter which edit you hit. We're going to go ahead and hit the edit button on contact. And you go down to the editing box. These are the editing tools. Here's the editing box. Just put your cursor right in front of the contact form. This is actually the contact form that we just looked at. So put your cursor right in front of there. We're going to drop this down, move our cursor back up, and we're going to go ahead and type in some words. Now, what I did is I have them already typed, so I'm going to go ahead and paste them in to save a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and paste those in. So the first line that we're going to put on here is drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. We're going to go 14 point on that. And let's go ahead and make everything bold right here. Okay, so this is going to stand out a little bit better because it's the larger font. We'll leave everything else in 12 font. And then to make the email address clickable, what you do is you just type the last letter, hit space, and then it makes it clickable. So drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. It has a phone number, email directly at, or fill out the contact form below. Let's go ahead and click update here. So that's going to update the website. So let's go ahead and tab back over to our AAA webinar, Outdoor Scenes. And here's the contact form page. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. I'm going to do a hard reset, control F5. And there it is. So it's all dressed up now. We have drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Has the phone number, has the clickable email address. All somebody has to do is click on that or fill out the contact form below. So gives us all gives the you know the user all the all the options there. So let's go ahead and go back to connect. And let's go back to dashboard. And then also real quick, let's go out of full screen. If you um, if you receive our, our newsletter or if you if you ever view our blog on datazar.com, go to datazar.com. There's a blog here down at the bottom. And you you might be on our newsletter list, but if you if you're not, go down here and check out our blog and these are all the um, blog posts that we have, and some of them are our tutorials. So if you click on a blog post, read more, scroll down. If you like what you see, there's a share button for Facebook and Twitter. So feel free to, to share these if it's something that you enjoy. So let's go back to, uh, back to connect. And uh, that's it. So that's how you dress up your contact form on your Datasar website with Datasar Connect.